It's Lee Goldstein from the newstraders.com, TNT. And I want to show you how to use trailing stops in your strategy. You have to use two positions. So you set it up two positions, one target. Turn on your trailing stop so it's enabled. And then choose the amount of ticks you want your stop to go when the trade gets going. So watch how it works. Very simple. I'm using the one-click range trade to demonstrate it. It hit my first target and filled it. Now it's moving up and trailing my stop. You can see my stop moving up, moving up. Then it pulls back down and takes me out of my stop. And that's trailing stops using two positions. Now I'm setting up a trade where if you use trailing stops with three positions, three positions, two targets. If you use it with two positions, you do two positions, one target. Everything else is the same. Trailing stop enabled has to be true. So you set that to true. The number of ticks it's going to trail, you set that to one or two, whatever you want it to trail when your high gets hit or your low gets hit if you're short. And then I'm using the same trade to set it up to watch it full unfold. The key is if you're using a three position trade, you use two targets. Like in this trade, three positions, my first target was taken out, my second target was taken out, and now the stop is trailing up. You can see it moving. And that's how you use trailing stops in a three position trade. The first part of the trade you watched and you saw uh, two positions, one target. So that's the key to remember. Three positions, two targets, two positions, one target. Okay, so it's Lee Goldstein from thenewstraders.com showing you how to use trailing stops.